Hey you guys, it's Mrs. Wagner here. Um, I'm going to show you the lab demo for uh, lesson two, evidence of tiny particles. This is demo three. This is sugar and water. So here's basically what we're going to do. We have um, 10 milliliters of sugar and I have 40 milliliters of water. And we're going to find the volume, which I just gave you, and the mass of each of these substances. And then we're going to mix them and get an after measurement. So what is the volume of the sugar and the water mixed? And then also what is the mass? So I want you to do some predicting. What do you think the before and the after uh, will compare, okay? Or how will they contrast? So let's uh, write down our measurements. I've got the board behind me, and I just want to look at this. Yeah, that's 40 milliliters, okay? So I'll just show them to you right up here. All right, so we have 40 milliliters of water. And we have 10 milliliters of sugar, okay? And let's get the mass of each of these. So first thing that we need to do when we uh, get the mass is I have to find the mass of the graduated cylinder and then I have to minus out that mass to get the mass of the water. So there's something on the massing scale called TARE, T-A-R-E. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop, since it's exactly the same as this one, I'm going to pop this up on the uh, massing scale and it's 20 grams. So what I do is I hit TARE and what that tells the massing scale is whatever I add into that, I'm going to minus it out, okay? So I'm just going to pour this into the graduated uh, cylinder so we have an accurate measurement. Hopefully I can do this without spilling. Get as much as I can in there. There we go. And it is 40 grams. Yep, 40 grams. So we're going to... Put that right there, 40 grams of water. All right, we're going to do the same thing with the sugar. So we'll set it, and we're going to add the graduated cylinder. We will tell it to minus out how much the graduated cylinder was, which is 26 grams. And now I'm going to carefully pour the sugar into this graduated cylinder. Let it all settle in there. There we go. It is eight grams of sugar. Okay, eight grams of sugar. So now let's mix them. All right, so set this so again, we're going to predict if we were to mix the sugar with the water, what do you think the mass of the combined mixture will be? And what do you think the volume of the two will be when we mix them together? Okay, so since I'm going to mix it into this graduated cylinder, I am going to measure this graduated cylinder first, and then I'll add the sugar and the water into it and then minus it out. Okay, so we've got this graduated cylinder. We will tell it to minus out the 19 grams. I am now going to add the water into it. Yep, still 40. Add our 10 grams of sugar. Okay, now one thing before we get a reading is we want to mix it. So I've got this little stirring rod and you can see that sugar down there settling at the bottom. What I want to do is mix it, okay? Until we can't see those particles of sugar any longer. Okay. Mixing, mixing. Yeah, a little bit better. Let's keep going. You can kind of see the water is getting a little bit more transparent again. We're going to keep mixing. It's getting easier to mix because I don't have that sugar down at the bottom. But you can tell it's a little bit syrupy. Okay. 
All right, so I think that's pretty good. Let's make sure I get all those. Okay. All those drops in there. Get as accurate as we can. Okay, so we will now mass it. It's minusing out. It is 48 grams. Okay, 48 grams when we mix them together. All right, is that what you predicted? Okay, what about volume? So let's take a look at the volume. What do you see here? You see that? It's kind of hard to see, but here's the 50 mark right there. And we can see that it is not 50. I'm going to try to read it, get down here. All right, I would say it is about 45 and a half for milliliters, okay? About 45 and a half when I level it and then read it, okay? So 45.5 milliliters, okay? So in your science notebook, let's get the data down. Our sugar, when we started, was 10 milliliters and 8 grams. The water was 40 milliliters and 40 grams. When we mixed them together, the volume of the sugar and water mixed was 45.5 milliliters, and its mass was 48 grams. So, is this what you predicted? And if it's not what you predicted, think about what might be happening with the particles. How is this providing evidence of tiny particles, okay? So maybe this is something that you can talk about in your group or your class or with your teacher, and we'll see you later.